Hi loves. So I know we're all surprised that I'm in my car. I'm going to Starbucks. For those that are familiar with my vlogs, that I spend a lot of time in the car with this little one. Um, because he is sleeping and since quarantine he only sleeps when we're in the car, which is fun. So um so this is my day one of the romance a I'm super excited. It was totally last minute that I decided to do it, but I'm glad I did. So there are five prompts that I need to fulfill and I did just post a video today which will already have been posted by the time this vlog is posted but if you are interested in seeing what I'm reading and what those prompts are all you have to do is um, go to the link down below and you can watch what I'm reading if you want to go ahead before you watch this vlog. So one of the prompts is to read a book by an author that you have not read before. So I am going to continue reading a book that I just read for the 48 hour Blackathon queer litathon combo of um, marathon that has happened this past weekend. So I will also post that link below and I was reading Felix Ever After. So this is a story about a trans male and he is also black as well and the struggles that he goes through, the conversations in this is so moving. Um, it's definitely not an action-packed fast plot moving book it is definitely character driven um there was at the beginning like a revenge plot type thing um which i don't care for as a trope but we've gotten past that and it's okay now but um i didn't realize this was a romance in it until i looked at my goodreads and it is a romance and i did a little bit of research and i believe there is an enemies to lovers trope in here which i am a fan of so i will be reading this i'm like about halfway done and then i will be moving on to another book to fulfill another prompt so i will keep you everyone updated once i have completed more reading than this so see you later there's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you Not doing well, don't know where you are Cause you're not here, it's been way too long If I could lay down beside you, I would, I would When nothing really matters, that's all I want that you were safe and that I will see you soon If I can lay down the sun It is 7.45 and I want to hop on to share that I finished my first book for the romance -a and my prompt was for this one, an author that is new to me. So I decided to continue reading Felix Ever After. Um, I was about halfway through with it because um, I've never read anything by Kaysen Calendar before. I might be pronouncing it wrong, I apologize. Um, but I'm so glad I made the decision to just continue this book and not throw in a different book because I just, I love this story. I give it five out of five stars. Um, I just love the message that this story tells. Um, Felix, our main character, is a trans, um, black male and he also, um, comes and, um, identifies as a demi-male, um, which means that he most of the times he identifies himself as a male. Sorry, I hear my toddler. But there are times where he doesn't, and he comes to terms that that's who he is um, after quite some time of not really sure where he fits in and where how to identify himself, um, and coming to terms with how you know what he's going to identify himself as um, was kind of this big um, turning point for Felix. And all Felix really wants me and is someone to love him for who he is. And he has felt abandoned um, many times in his past because of who he is. And his mother has not been a mother, really, from the very beginning. Um, what I love about this book is I feel like a lot of stories, they always have the father figure leaving and kind of abandoning the family. But in this story, they actually have the mom who had abandoned his family and started a new family over. So I thought that was interesting because you don't see that a lot, especially in YA books. So I liked that different perspective. Also, I love the conversations in this story. I think it's, it was a learning experience um, being from someone that um, doesn't know what it's like, obviously, to be a trans teen or a teen that identifies as queer. Um, I, you know, it was great to see that perspective. And I felt like I really 
had an idea what it was like for these teens. Definitely a character driven book. It's not action packed. Um, so if you're looking for something that's full of action, um, that's, you know, that's not what you'll find in this book. But I think even if you are someone that likes action packed books, I really think you'll still like this. Um, there is a mystery part to it, which I wasn't expecting. And I loved that as well. Um, the only thing that kind of I didn't care for very early in the beginning was Felix is kind of driven by revenge and I'm not someone that enjoys a revenge plot um but that was really quick and it was over with and again it, it, I'm just being picky it's not something that lowered the amount of stars I gave it um it still was an amazing book nonetheless but yeah so I really did enjoy this book I'm glad that I read this and I think next I'm going to move on to my book with one of my favorite tropes in it which which um is the Elite by Kira Cass, and I'd actually been considering this for a trope, but I actually was wrong about this trope. So it's not a um, enemies to lovers story, which I thought it was, but it's friends to lovers. And I'm glad that that's how it ended. I'm glad Felix ended up with who he ended up with because I loved that character and I'm not gonna say much more about that. So yeah, so I'm gonna continue reading. Um, I'm going to take a bath. I'm going to start The Elite and hopefully knock out another prompt soon because those books don't take me long to read. I'm sorry. That, that's really creepy my Apple Watch just started talking to me. But yeah, I'm gonna dive into a book with my favorite trope. So I will check back in when I've read more of that later. I will. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long if i could lay down beside you i would i would when nothing really matters that's all i wanna do hi loves it is day two of the romantathon and I am bringing you from my child's playroom. So if you hear a toddler playing in the background, I apologize. <laughs> but this is life of a mom and a reader. But I wanted to do a quick update because last night I stayed up all night and because I had to just finish the Elite. So I literally started this last night, maybe at like nine, and I read it until I finished it. And again, five stars, even the second time that I've read it. I just look food coming in the camera i just love the elite and i forgot so this was the i forgot how much the triangle the love triangle um just gave me stress and anxiety between maxim and aspen and america like it stresses me out and i just love i know maxim and i know aspen are both flawed obviously but i just love both of them I just think they're so cute, and <laughs> there's my fictional crushes right there. I think they're just adorable. You like the play food coming through? This is my life, guys, in a nutshell. Um, so this book was for my favorite trope. So this one is from Friends to Lovers, and also there is a love triangle as well. So um, I, again, really happy I read it. But now, like I said before, this is one of those series where you just want to just jump right into the next one because it literally just leaves you hanging um but i want to get the other books done first and then i will come back and read the um the one i don't really care for the other ones in the series i mean i've read them but it's just not that great compared to the first three of the trilogy so i kind of consider those like a trilogy in its own because they're like the best of the books and so but yeah so i just love the elite once again so um that was my uh, my prompt for a trope that I loved, which again had friends to lovers and also has um, a love triangle, which stresses the crap out of me in this book. But the next I'm gonna move to is I think um, a book released in 2020, and I think I'm gonna move on to the beach read next. So I um, will read that this afternoon. I'm gonna continue playing in here and making a mess obviously and um yeah so i'll fill you in once i've actually read some more i apologize for the, like the relaxed atmosphere and the toddler in the background but the whole point of a vlog i feel like is to get a peek inside my life and this is my life in a nutshell so i'll talk to you later loves bye there's not much to do when all i can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're
you're not here It's been way too long If I could lay down beside you It is almost 7 and I barely have touched space at all today um, Today's reading did not necessarily go as planned So I went to run an errand um, to pick up a book that was not part of this readathon, just that it has been recommended. Um, and I wanted to try, I wasn't really sure how I was gonna like it. Um, and I had my the beach book, um, a beach read, I'm sorry, the beach read with me, hopefully, to read it because I figured my son would fall asleep in the car and I would go to Starbucks and read while we in line and then maybe sit in the driveway for a little bit with the air on and the coolness and read while he slept. However, I left the beach read at home. So I decided to start the book that I picked up, which was The Girls of Paper and Fire. I'm someone that does not usually read more than one book at a time. I don't know why. It's not like I wouldn't remember, like get confused on them. I just, that's just not something I've ever really done. So I was like, Ugh, I'll just start it. And I ended up liking this so far more than I thought I would. It's definitely not my normal genre that I usually gravitate towards, but I already got to page 50. So when I got home, I was like, well, I need to start reading the beach reads because that's what I'm supposed to be reading today. Um, and I started it. I did read it. I'm like on page 30, but I'm, I kind of want to go back and read Girls of Paper and Fire, but I don't know. I'm kind of in a weird, weird spot. But so far with the beach read, we're introduced to our main character, January. January um, has just inherited a house from her father that just passed away. But this house she didn't really know about because it was a house that he had with his mistress that she found out about at his funeral and that the mother had actually already had known about the mistress but never told her. So a pretty crappy situation. Definitely not how she wanted to celebrate um, her father's life by knowing that she he had a mistress. So that's kind of the point I'm at right now. Things in her life aren't going well. She had, Her boyfriend broke up with her. She's struggling writing a book that she needs to have sent to her publisher very very soon so her plan is to kind of stay at this house in isolation for the summer to kind of pack it up get ready for it to sell but also to kind of be away from distraction so she can focus on writing her book that needs to be written by the deadline so i'm really in the book early in the book it's only like page 30 i'm kind of bummed because i've been doing so well on getting books done and i don't know i like it i just this is catching my interest a little bit more right now. But. All right, so I will update you with what I've read. Hopefully it's the beach read and not something that's irrelevant to this readathon. but we'll go from there. So I will check in later. Bye loves. I'm so tired. I am just doing my night check-in from my bed. <laughs> so I've been reading beach read around page 115 and I don't love it, but I don't, I don't hate it by any means. Uh, I think part of the problem is, is I just came off reading three great five-star books. Um, you should see Me in This Crown. I think that's the right way to the words that it is. It's like weird. It's a long title. And then The Black Flamingo and Felix Ever After. Those were just such amazing books. I gave all five stars to. But I think I'm just finding it's a little disappointing um, just because there's so much hype about it. But I think that could also just be me because I have just come from these books that I just fell in love with as soon as I read the first page. Um, and plus, romance is not something that I generally read, which is why I want to do this readathon to push me um, to expand the type of genres that I typically read. But, I mean, it's not bad. So, right now, our two main characters have made a deal to write each other's genre to see if they could do it better than the other person because they are rivals from college. And this is, like, I think she mentions, like, 10 years after all of this. So, um, they're currently working on in that genre. And then on Friday nights... Um, Gus has to, or Augustus, I think his name is, his full name, he has to do plan research for them. And then on Saturday nights, um, January takes him and does like a research on a, how to write a rom com. So they just went like, uh, like a little, um, like a little fair. That's, um, that's what's gonna come to me. Um, just to like, get like the rom-com feel so it's kind of like a date almost but not a date um I think it's just kind of predictable I mean it's enjoyable but it's not like earth shattering or anything like that but 
I want to continue reading it. I kind of want to get through it because I just, there's other books that I want to read, like Girls with Paper and Fire, I think that's what it's called. And then also I just bought two new romance books that I've heard so many good things about that seem a little bit more up my alley. But I'm just going to keep reading and hopefully I will keep enjoying it a little bit more. Um, tomorrow is my husband's birthday, so we're having a pretty busy day. Um, my husband's lost to work. And then um, we're having family over for pizza and cake. So I don't know how much reading I'll do tomorrow. I'm sure I'll do some in the afternoon, maybe some in the morning. But hopefully I'll look much more presentable than this lovely angle that you guys got to see from. But I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi loves, it is day three of the romance, or no, yeah, day three of the romance with that, and it's already one o'clock, and um, yeah, I've not vlogged at all because um, I was brought Grayson, my son, to my aunt's house. Um, she watches a couple of kids, and he usually goes there when I'm working, and he hasn't really seen kids at all really since then, so he had a little play date with two of his friends, um, and he had a lot of fun, and then he didn't want to leave, so that was like took me 10 minutes to get him into the car um but yeah and then today is my husband's birthday so we're gonna have a birthday party which is why i haven't showered because i'm gonna shower later because i don't want to get gross because it was outside but yeah so i'm continuing to read the beach read um i apologize for how awful i looked last night i been watching the video and i'm definitely hesitating about posting it but you know what you guys will get to see me in all of my fine appearances i suppose um, but I promise I really do do get ready for things. I just, since quarantine, I just don't, I just don't do it. But, um, so we're in the car. He did fall asleep because he's exhausted. And I know you guys probably think like, why is he always sleeping in the car? Um, since quarantine, he will not take a nap in the house at all. Um, he will only take a nap in the car. So we take what we can get. Cause if not, it's a, a monster for the rest of the day. And we're at Starbucks. There's a really big line and I'm going to read. So I will pop in when I have and done some more reading that can actually update you on what's going on. So I'll see you loves later. Bye. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Cause you're not here. It's been way too long. Hi loves. I apologize for the terrible lighting. Um, my husband's sleeping and all of my stuff that I use is in the bedroom. So I'm doing this on my phone with no extra lights in the dining room. So bear with me. But I have not vlogged a lot today. I apologize. It was crazy doing all the birthday stuff. But I did get a good amount of beach read um, completed. And we just read some steamy stuff and... Damn, that's all I can say between these two characters. <laughs> but um, something weird just happened with Gus. He got like a random phone call or like text like right after they did it. And it was really weird. I am definitely liking it more. I feel like I'm getting into it better. Like I'm reading it faster because I'm a little bit more interested in it. Um, there is some interesting under like, st like small storylines like this cult that Gus is investigating. I have like a fascination with like reading about cults. Um, I got shows about them. So I found that to be pretty interesting. But yeah, it's definitely not like your happy-go-lucky love story. Like they definitely have some pretty severe baggage that both of these main characters have, which I like. Um, but yeah, so it's good. I want to keep reading, but it is kind of late. But I probably won't check in tonight again because I'm going to go in the bedroom and read with my flashlight. And I won't build the vlog because it would be in the pitch black. So my son insisted that we put Mickey Mouse decorations up in my house that's from his first birthday party. So, all right, um, again, I'm sorry that this is like not a great day for vlogging, but hopefully we'll be better tomorrow. So I'll see you later, loves, bye. Hi loves, it is I think day five of the romance -a -thon. I've kind of lost track, but if it's wrong, I'll write it up here on the screen. But um, I, Wanted to check in for today. It's already like 11.30. I still literally slept my pajamas on, but we're just going to roll with it. So, but I do have some reading to update you on, and I did finish Beach Read last night. Um, I liked this book. I'm excited that I picked it up. Um, the definitely, it got, as I said last night, it got better as I think the book went on. Um, I kind of like that it's not all like happy at times, which 
I know like a romance, I feel like it's supposed to be really uplifting, but at times it's definitely not. Like there's definitely some sad parts in this book where I kind of, it was sad. It was hard to read, um, especially what happened with her father passing away and things of that nature. But I don't really want to go into like more details of it because I definitely would spoil it. But there definitely is some emotional parts of this book, which I like. So I gave it four stars. Um, yeah, I think it's a good romance book. Um, I'm, I get, I feel like the title's weird. Like, I feel like I get why it's called Beach Read, but I definitely feel like it could have had a better title. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But yeah, four stars. So this was for the prompt of a book that was released in 2020. And then I'm going to be starting a new book today, which also I just got in the mail yesterday. And I'm going to be doing the prompt with a book that has an illustrated cover, which is going to be the group read, which is I've, I Never Met You. I don't know too much about this book. Um, I do know that it's hard to buy, that it's pretty sold out everywhere. So that is a good sign. And I believe it is a new release of a book. I believe it was 2020. Yeah, 2020. So I'm excited to start this one. Um, but yeah, so I'll check in with that later. But I did pick two more books from Barnes and Noble yesterday, besides getting the um, other book in the mail, and that is Take a Hint, Danny Brown, and Get a Life, Chloe Brown, both by Talia Hibber. Um, I don't know too much about these, but I've heard of, like raving, but I don't really fully know, remember what the exact plot of the story is. I know this one has something to do with Danny is a bisexual witch, which sounds interesting but I don't know too much about this one because this wasn't um a new release so I have it's you know hasn't been totally around booktube a lot but this one just was released and published yesterday so a lot of people who had the arcs have already have talked about it in their videos so because this one is first and I think Danny is Chloe's sister I want to read this book first before we went to this one so I'm hoping to start this before the romance-a-thon and sorry my toddler in the background but um, this one is going to go first because it is the group read. So yeah, so a little mini book haul for you loves and I am going to get ready for the day because I literally look like a hot mess. I don't know how much better I'll look at the end, but we'll see. And then um, hopefully I'll get some mini done this afternoon and I will fill you in on how this is going. So I have finished three out of the five prompts, which is pretty good. And all, those books could double up for other prompts. So if I don't get everything done, I at least could have the five prompts done, which would be nice. So, all right, I'll see you later, loves. Bye. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Cause you're not hey, here. I'm just about to start crafting, but I did want to check in. I just recorded a video for the second half of my book haul, so you should check that out if you've not seen it yet. Um, but I did get into some more of If I Never Met You um, right now. Um, what's her name? Lori's ex-boyfriend just said that they need to be apart. Um, after spending 18 years together, they've not, he hasn't been married to her, and he said he finally realized, like, that this was the end when he just feel like he wasn't ready for kids and he's like 35 and she's like obviously upset because she's just wasted 18 years of her life and she's not married she doesn't have kids um she handles it much better than I would I feel like I would have like flipped out on him like I don't know I would have lost my mind after 18 years saying you just are done but they he, she held it she held herself together better than I would have but that's kind of where we're at right now so I do like that it got right to that point right at the beginning, um, kind of get that done and over with because that's something that we already knew based off the synopsis. synopsis. However, I'm excited to see more about what's going in. It is a quicker pace in the beginning than like the beach read was, but that's not too bad. So I'm going to craft, read some more, and then I'll check in with you later tonight. Bye, loves. All right, loves. Sorry for the terrible lighting. I'm laying on my couch reading in my living room and my dining room light is on and my living room light is off. So I was too lazy to turn on. But I just can't with this book right now. I had to film my initial reaction of this. So I had to tell someone, even if it's, you guys aren't going to be watching it until days after. But, um, so again, I'm reading If I Never Met You. This is the group read for the Romance-a-thon. I'm reading it for the prompt of a book with an illustrated cover. So I told you before that the two main characters have, or the two characters have split up, okay? They're separated. He said, you know, he wasn't ready for children and he just felt like he had to find himself. They've been together for 18 years, weren't married, okay? They were in their 30s and she's, you know, mope, 
you know, having troubles, kind of moping around, which is understandable. They both work at the same place, like kind of, but different sections, so it doesn't make it any easier. And then one day, he tells her that they have to meet up, and she thinks they're going to get back together. And he tells her that he has a, she has a girlfriend, or he has a girlfriend, which, okay, that's like awful to hear that you've been with someone for 18 years, and you've been separated for uh, 10 weeks, and you already have a girlfriend. And he's trying to say that they didn't, you know, wasn't from before, but let's be honest, like, it obviously is. But then, which this isn't necessarily a spoiler, because it says in the back, but the girl, the new girlfriend, is pregnant, okay? This guy left because he didn't want to have kids. He claims it was an accident, whatever. But she's not just, like, a month pregnant. She is two months pregnant. So that means that he got with her and impregnated her two at least max two weeks after they broke up i'm so annoyed right now with this character in this book with him oh i can't stand him but i'm so agitated right now <laughs> and i'm so mad at him i cannot imagine how that feels for her like oh god like that's terrible um the guy's just an asshole but yeah, so I'm going to continue reading. My craft machine's not working, so like I have more time to read tonight than I anticipated. Um, I'm hoping to get to page 100 tonight, if not more, but I'm so annoyed and fired up right now that, but I mean, that's like a thing of a good book though, because the fact that I'm getting that, sorry, my book just emotional over fictional characters' lives shows that it's good writing. Um, but yeah, again, I'm sorry for the lighting. I just didn't want to get on and get everything up because I wanted to film my initial reaction in the moment so that it didn't deteriorate or it wasn't like real because that was pure real emotion. So, all right, I'm done blabbering and I'm so again, hopefully the light is a better. I will try and vlog before I go to bed tonight. If I'm not, I will just check in with you in the morning. But if I will have vlog in tonight and again, I apologize for the real terrible lighting, but I want to show you guys my initial reaction so bye loves hi loves it is friday and it's already 2 30 and i haven't vlogged yet because i haven't really read anything today um however i did read last night someone just kind of updates you on that um it's nothing crazy she's just kind of dealing with the aftermath of the breakup with the announcement of the pregnancy at work since they both work in the same um office they're both lawyers um and just trying to navigate that is difficult obviously for anybody um it's kind of slow i think last night i kind of um thought about starting a new book I'm not DNFing this just kind of picking something else up but I'm really weird about bringing reading two books at once so I did decided not to do it but um for the remainder of the day I'm at Starbucks right now then I will be um wow that's a really close-up view and this is not pretty right now um I have to get ready for the day so um we are gonna go to Starbucks he's gonna sleep in the car for a bit and I'm going to plan out which readathons I'm doing this month um, just so I can figure out when I do my TBR bingo game. I can kind of gear some of those books to kind of fit some of those prompts. So I'm not reading tons and tons of books because um, I will be going on vacation for the first month of July. And then I will do some reading tonight. Um, he's sleeping over at my sister's house. She invited him for a sleepover. And I'm having a few friends over. And we're going to go out to dinner and have some drinks. And yeah, so I will check in with everyone later. Bye, loves. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Cause you're not here. Hi, loves. It's, it's like 11.30. My friends just left. We had a really chill night. It was fun. Um, it was all teacher friends. It was like celebrating the end of the school year. We had a nice dinner, came over home, had a fire, had a drink, and just kind of relaxed. Um, so I'm really tired, but I really want to get some reading done um, just because I would like to get um, If I Never Met You done before Romance-a-thon ends. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be a little bit. I'll try and vlog before I go to bed. If not, I will see you tomorrow. So bye, loves. So I did read late last night. I'm still not finished with If I Never Met You. Um, there's been times where I just want to DNF it. And there's times where every time I'm about to DNF it, like something happens and I'm like interested again. 
but I did like plow through a lot of it yesterday. Um, I'm just shy of, I think, hitting the 300 page mark, which means I only have 100 pages left. I would like to finish it today. I don't know if that's possible. Um, I have my in-laws coming over to celebrate my husband's birthday as well as my niece's first birthday. Um, so that's going to take up a bunch of time today. But we'll see. Um, but I will check in later. Nothing, nothing really crazy is going on in the book. I think that they're both, Jamie and Lori are starting to kind of get feelings for each other, even though they've been like fake dating. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm not really interested in it, so it's kind of hard, I feel like, to talk about it. But I'll check in with you, loves, later. Bye. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you Not doing well Don't know where you are Cause you're not here It's been way too long If I could lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters That's all I wanna do I hope that you're safe and See you soon If I could lay down beside you I would, I would I would, I would. I would. We talk on the phone Every night Love to hear your voice last day of the romance-a-thon and this will be my last check-in um before my entire wrap-up so again bad lighting my husband's sleeping already had a long day but i did want to say that i finished if i never met you um i'm gonna give it three stars because there are some parts that i really enjoyed but i found it just so predictable and i think that sometimes what i don't like about romance novels is that I feel like they are pretty predictable at least the ones that I've read um so I mean it was good I felt like there were times where I struggled getting through it and there were times that I really read quickly um yeah I mean I don't really want to take too much because I don't want to spoil it for people but the ending was super predictable and I think that's one thing um wow my hair is absolutely insane that I love about like thrillers and mystery books is that you don't know how it's gonna end um, with romance books, it's pretty predictable. The tropes kind of are the same. But if you have any romance books recommendations that aren't necessarily always predictable, I would love to hear them. I feel like this book could have done the same thing in less than 400 pages. I felt like it was kind of long. Some parts really dragged. Um, but other than that, I mean, it was, a, it was an okay read. I definitely won't read it again. Um, I don't know if I'll read something else by this author, but I mean, it wasn't a terrible book, but just not something that I probably, um, loved, I guess is better words. So tomorrow I'm going to just do my quick sum up because it will be Monday. Um, go over the, again, the prompts I read, the books I, I read for those prompts, and then I will finish editing the end of the video and I will hopefully have it posted by tomorrow. So sorry if this kind of the end, I feel like, of this vlog kind of got kind of crappy. I missed a whole day, didn't vlog, and it was, was kind of shorter than some of the other parts, but I'm happy with how I've ended the vlog, I think, and how I did. But I'll kind of touch by, oh my god, accent right there, touch base about it later to, um, in tomorrow. So um, I hope you have a great day and I will see you for my final check-in. Bye loves. Hi everyone. So I had like this nice wrap up I was going to do today and look all cute and stuff. And then just today got away from me. I got my nails done and then I went to go um, make an appointment for my tattoo and he ended up doing it right there and then which was awesome. Um, and then I had to bring my dog to the vet. By the time I got back, it was like seven o'clock and the taxi place had no air conditioning. So I was like sweating and I literally looked like a hot mess. So definitely not the wrap up that I wanted to do, but it is what it is. But I'm really happy with how the romance -thon went for me. I read four books, but they did fulfill the five prompts. So again, for a book with um, that was released in 2020, I read The Beach Read, which I gave four stars to. Then I wrote a book that has um, a trope that I like, and I read, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The Elite, which I gave five stars. That was a reread for me. Then I wrote, or wrote, 
read, <laughs> I read Felix of Raptor, which was an author that was new to me, and I gave that five stars. And then I read the Buddy Reader Group Read, which was If I Never Met You, and that fulfilled the last two prompts, and that I gave three stars. So overall, I read four books, fulfilled the five prompts. I would have liked to have read five books, but last week was really busy for me, actually, um, so I'm impressed I got four books done. But yeah, so I really had fun. This challenge definitely pushed me since romance is not something that I generally gravitate towards. But um, I really did enjoy it, but I won't lie. I'm ready to read something else um, and get back into some of the other things that I truly love, love, love to read. But I'm glad I did it because I think a goal for myself this year is to go outside of my general genres that I gravitate towards. And this um, readathon definitely had me do that. So if you liked this video, I'd love for you to give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please do so if you would like and take this journey with me as this is a newer thing for me. Um, so yeah, so stay kind and I'll see you later, loves. Bye. There's not much to do.